Rev up your engines! It's time for ScottyKeller.com. If your car is making a humming sound that gets louder the faster you drive, then today's your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to tell if your wheel bearings are bad. Now in this case the roaring is coming from the back. It sounds like it's behind me so we're going to jack the car up in the air. Now it sure sounds like it's coming from this wheel so let's pull on it. Now unfortunately it doesn't have any play. It doesn't wobble when I pull on it. But that doesn't mean that the wheel bearing isn't necessarily bad. Many times wheel bearings will start to wear out and they won't have any play but they start to make noise so you have to pull off the wheel and check them. Now the wheel bearing is inside here but we have to take the brake off to access it. So we'll get a wrench, a socket and a hammer and whack off the brake. There's two 17 millimeter bolts on the back. You just put this on and give it a bunch of whacks so you can take them off. And off it comes. Then you just pull off the brake disc and get a screwdriver and pop the bearing cover off. Then get a big socket and a cheater bar that will fit over the bearing bolt and put it on and pull like mad. And off comes the whole bearing assembly. Now if you look closely inside this bearing assembly you'll see there's little flakes of metal here. The metal is the bearing wearing out so we know the bearing is on its way out and needs replacing. We should have seen just pure grease inside there, but since we see little flecks of metal we know the bearing's coming apart and it's time for a new one. And in this case the new bearing comes as an entire assembly. The only thing we have to change are the studs that hold it in and the tone ring for the ABS. So on the old hub we gotta hammer out the studs and change this tone ring for the ABS. To get the studs off you just screw on a little bolt on and whack it a few times. Then you take out the bolt and there it is to use over. Then we get a drift chisel to hit the tone ring out. And off it comes. Then you get the new bearing assembly, put the ring on and tap it back on. Now these hub bearing assemblies come pre-greased so you don't need to do anything except put them on. They just slide right on. Then you put the bolt on, tighten it on, and then with a drift chisel and a hammer, hit the little edges so it locks in place. And now comes the tricky part, you have to stick the studs back in. So you get a stud and a larger bolt that will fit over it and the regular bolts that screw it in. Then you put the stud in from the back, put the spacer bolt in and the regular bolt and tighten it up. Then with your socket, as you tighten this up, it pulls the bolt in and holds it in place. Once you get all the studs on, put the brake disc on, then bolt the brake caliper back on, get it on nice and tight, and don't forget to tap the grease cover back on. Then the tire goes back on and we're all done. And down the road we go with no more roaring sounds coming from the back. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit ScottyKilmer.com. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from this ride.